or GA or something like that. And that's and Doom as well just removes everything. So, well, this next pick is going to be an Fy hero, and this is what I'm really looking forward to. I feel like a lot of the plays that Vici Gaming make are through Fy and Fenrir together. They should pick Enigma. You think so? I think Enigma. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen much. It doesn't feel like something Vici would run. Yeah. Okay, Jakiro's something they run. Enigma would have been pretty good though, I think. So but it's a support Jakiro. We saw the core Jakiro was really yeah. popular for a while. No, you guys were running an off lane like every game during Star Ladder. It's kind of fallen off lately. Yeah, we, uh, we ran it a lot at WC, I think, is where we first started running it. Mm -hmm. Thanks to, we played like a million NEL games and we just picked off lane Jakiro. <laughs> Shout out to IX Mike. Actually, yeah, we didn't scrim ever. Like, for like, like, the, like since TI, we haven't scrimmed. We just played NEL and we just like draft against each other, like me and our tour. Just draft against each other, and then Universe is like, give me Jakiro every game. We're like, all right, first pick Jakiro. So, you can see Vichy Gaming get a little hype there, trying to build up their their emotional energy. They're banging the table. I, I could actually hear it with my headphones on. Yeah, really. Yeah. yeah. yeah, they're they're pretty loud up there. Um, Black's like the most unassuming guy for like the first half of the game. He, he'll just like, okay, he'll respond like, okay, yeah. His team like yells at him, and, and then it's it's nicer. And then yeah, nicer. he gets like one kill, and he's just nice, nice, and he keeps building. And then like at the end of the game, he just he it's like a cacophony explodes. of nices. Yes. You know? It's actually ridiculous, but um, I like the Jakiro pickup because if there's one thing that FY can do really well, it's uh, it's definitely farm up a quick item, whatever that is, like a quick blink dagger, uh, especially for Jakiro, get a Yule Scepter out early on, um, which is, I mean, you have obviously Liquid Fire to take down towers, to take camps as well, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue for him to be a force. He shouldn't be fall too far behind, I think, in this game, and um, with the Vengeful Spirit as well, they have plenty of um, physical damage, and then the Venomancer comes out. This is a hero I've seen a lot recently, but only like in this tournament. I've seen it a couple other times and other tournaments, but like it's really coming to its own. I think. It Talk to us about Veno. You, you, it, was, it was a really popular hero in your showdown with Cloud Nine earlier today. Yeah. Um, I mean, the best thing about Veno is the like the vision that he provides, and he also keeps lanes pushed. So you have to, you have to have a hero static there for a while. That being said, I don't think it's the best pick here, um, just because like. Uh, Vici's fine with just farming, and I don't know how well Seeker can force towers. Like they don't really have much tower push. They have the like the panda. It's like it's like a like to kind of like maybe force a fight if he can get in. But mm, I'm not really sure which draft I'm favoring too much. Support Veno is a totally different um, yeah. hero than like a core. Yeah, we Veno. have not seen support Veno like hardly at all. We've almost exclusively seen core Veno lately. That's because I think it's kind of generally considered ass. I don't like it too much, but it certainly could work work here I think it's it. it's not that bad it's not as bad as some people think I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see how it plays out and he goes they go for the boots first as well no tells a big fan of the boots he needs first to get through laning phase for sure yeah because he I mean Gale is great and it's really good in lane but certain off laners can do just fine like I guess tide maybe Venom is good against tide but like when I was playing earlier like against like Legion commander from like bone seven like mm -hmm. Veno like hits for like 40 damage and it doesn't even touch our heroes that have more than like two armor yeah, it can be rough there, and the one thing with him is you really want to max out Poison Stain and the wards, ideally get a couple points in Gale, and, and get the level 2 ultimate, so uh, we'll see. If Big Daddy can at least get those level 4 wards, that'll be nice. Secret going to move into their own jungle, look to defend it early and protect this big camp. Support Veno just needs level 7, and then he just throws wards everywhere. And you just you just go like sit in a lane and defend a tower, and it's so hard to push into the towers. and. But I mean, it's it's definitely not good versus Terrorblade. It's yeah. not even that good versus Tide. It's so why why pick Venom then? I I don't like the pick, but there's a couple of picks. I, I I also really don't like J the Jakiro pick either. I think Witch Doctor would have been a fantastic pick for um, Beachy there. This this Terrorblade is just gonna eat those wards. Like he's just gonna pop Metamorphosis, yeah, and yeah. if they're pushing down a tower, yeah, it's not even gonna be a problem. Yuna's Illusions can pop down the wards. Yeah. Quick. So it kind of is just kind of like, why, why essentially? It, he needs to get some big poison of his off in these fights, or else I don't know how it's going to go. But Yeah, I mean, it depends if Fly's able to get Doom on Terrorblade or not. Because if they have Venowalt plus Doom, like that's, I mean, that's that's good. That He'll just die. Yeah, that hero's dying. Yeah, you're going to die. I mean, you're, you're, maybe they deny you, but you're definitely going to die regardless. Oh, yeah. Venom's also pretty good for Venge. Because, like, Venom gets all his damage off, and then even if you swap, like, the hero still takes a ton of damage. That's true. But then again, it is support Veno. It's not like he's going to have that early Ags or early level 11 or early. Um, I think with like support Veno, like I, he's probably going to play a hard five, I think. And then Puppy will kind of farm a bit on Dazzle. So it will be even hard for him to even like get an early level six ultimate off because it just costs so much mana. Well, we are going to see Vici go for a defensive tri lane here. They've got FY hiding off in the trees. He's got a smoke already picked up right away. Not, not normally considered a great roaming support early on that Shakiro, but. 
Well, let's see if he looks to make some plays here. They'll be protecting Black on his Terror Blade in the safe lane against the offlane Doom. And it's a dire offlane as well, so we may see this Doom tuck away into the jungle fairly early, depending on how this lane goes. You know, dire offlane's almost better than Radiant offlane now. You think so? Yeah. With the new, like, um, like lane speeds and stuff like okay. that. Like, there's... I think if you ask a lot of offlane players, they'll even say that they prefer dire offlane more than Radiant offlane. Any reason in particular? Because you don't have the pull, right? Um... Well, they, they, I mean, just where, like, look, look where the creep started. Like, he's at, he's almost at his tower to start the game. And all he has to do is sit in his lane and block, and his creeps are slow, super slow forever, and then blocking on Radiant is, like, really difficult. Um, or blocking in the safe lane in general is really difficult because the creeps are so fast. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he decides they're tri-laning, they're investing a lot here. I'm just going to rotate off the lane for a bit. Yeah, I think he got his level 2, and now he's just going to go to the jungle. Yeah, Big Daddy can maybe rotate there if they look to push, and they've got this Tide under control. The Tide also going to rotate. Uh, do what I mentioned, Vici, they, they made sure to protect their Ancients running this Tide, and it's been a trend for all teams, basically. Make sure you get your early ancient stacks out. So, yeah. that's Simba into the woods. Yeah, you need, um, that's like a really crucial thing for each team, is that they need a, some hero that can just farm ancients, because if you're not farming ancients, that means you're missing out on a decent chunk of farm on the map, which is like really safe, guaranteed farm. I noticed that you guys always make a big point of emphasis of having somebody that can farm ancients effectively, and making sure that you're taking everything off the map, and specifically when uh -oh. you get the farm. Alright, so Ice Ice could be our first blood here, EMP coming in, who's gonna drop? S4 getting slow, but it's Ice 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 who ends up going down, secret, they connect, get out to a... A quick early lead here, super unable to really offer much at this stage of the game, and well, that's an offlane tie down. They did manage to stack the ancients. That's big. Still, first blood to secret. First blood to venomancer. Of yeah, all heroes. exactly. That that's. I mean, that's going to help a lot in terms of getting towards that level seven, like you were talking about, getting some semblance of farm to do something. I do want to point out. I think that um, Vici threw two sentry wards down in their jungle to try to counter that observer ward that's blocking their safe lane camp there, and they couldn't find it. Apparently, it's just out of range. It's on the edge oh, there, so they don't no. have their pole camp to work with. And that does block the that's camp. That's so I guess. bad yeah. for them. But at least they can kind of pressure the tower because there's a doom. So He's that's the jungle, but that's a lot of. Um, they just put a lot into that and got nothing out of it. So Sentry's uh, kind of wasted. But I'm a big advocate of the left-right D ward on Radiant Camp mm -hmm. rather than the north-south. It always seems so difficult to be able to get the right Sentry wards in the Radiant side, at least. Yeah, it's. Um, I think you need almost three to guarantee it. But if you have like left and right, I think you almost cover it, and you only miss it if it's placed like right in the middle. How about uh? What's harder, that or the the Dire Ancients? Because Dire Ancients, the Dire Ancients are the hardest. Do you think? Um, uh, AUI was saying that he thinks it's it's like well, he he didn't say he thought it was harder than the Radiant Polka, but is he was talking about how difficult it is to deward. Terrible Jakira Lane, dear God, that tower's dead. The thing about the Dire Ancients, there's like there's like spots on the cliffs, like inside the trees, that you can place wards that block Ancients. Yeah, like so just have right have, up the ridge, yeah, but so below have, the big cliff. You have cliff. to have flying vision. Uh, in order to deward it, and that means you have to like take the courier away, or it's a pain. I guess they they do have wards in the case of secret, so it'll be less of an issue for them potentially. Mm -hmm. But here we go. As we're gonna pick up a bounty rune. How you feel about the lanes overall? First tower goes to Vici, first blood goes to secret. CS wise looks pretty even so far across the board. Ice 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 is getting his levels. The Doom also getting his. Do you do you feel like either team is a a good early advantage here? The first tower is really nice. And then maybe, oh, they're getting all rough. AMP on the S4 mid lane. He's not going to have mana for a whole lot. He claps. He tries to retreat. Cannot make it's his way out. huge kill. Right. Now, Big I think, takedown. now I think Vici's doing better. Yeah, because I would have said I would have said before, like, huge the lanes kill. were super even. And, like, you have the Tide that can farm the Ancients, the Doom that can go to the jungle. But with that kill, that's going to delay S4 for a while now. And that's something you don't see too often. Usually S4 gets up and running really early. But this game is going to be kind of difficult, I think. So EMP will be a pestilence for him this game, that's for sure. So we're, I guess we expect to see that Orchid build on the Invoker. Just go around with Ghost Walk, try to find pickoffs. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Orchid and then probably uh, BKB for him. Potentially Force... No, no, I think definitely uh, BKB. Okay. So they can Doom you, but then they're committing a lot. And Tide's free to Ravage, your yeah, Terror Blade can do whatever he wants. Invoker shouldn't be getting doomed. He should be have like... He'll be able to like kind of start from inside the outside the fights and then Tornado EMP in, get his Squad Snap off. And... Uh, kind of see the Doom coming in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Should be fine. I think until Ice 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 gets that Blink Dagger, he might be the Doom target for the most part. Just yeah, to make Tyler sure... Yeah, is always a good Doom target. You just don't want to get that Ravage off. But Ice 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 usually gets... Especially with this, if he does get an Ancient stack, he will be able to get the Blink fast. And 
Oh, meanwhile, mid lane, S4 does get taken down by the Invoker. A oh, solo kill, it looks like. Was the Venge even there? I think Venge at least through tear. Yeah, we have no match yeah. missile, though. That's not on cooldown, so. I... Really? I might have thrown it really early and then it cooled down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro I think it would have had to have got a missile. Like, yeah. how, how does Pamit die like that? Yeah, so good rotation there by the Venge. And it seems to be Vici's greatest strength. They're just, their roaming is always seems to work out. So this is how you shut down the Panda. Just roam on him a lot. I get. He's normally one of the most difficult yeah, mids in the so game to kill. Yeah, he's so hard to kill. But I mean, Quasvex and Voker has pretty good damage early, especially if you get some help. And they are going to go for a Midas now on Kuroki. Yeah, he he'll pick up the Midas and it'll probably go straight for the Blink Dagger. That just seems to be the normal build, especially for him. I mean, he treads first, obviously, before the Blink. But that's like the, from what I've seen, some Slarks go for Shadow Blade, but I imagine it's going to be a Blink Dagger this game, right? Uh, puppy. He's uh oh, he's Rout row. He's dead. Gets caught out and he's done. Good, but no TP. <laughs> yeah, puppy ain't going anywhere, or is he? Gosh, no, that's there. S4 now split. joining the fight. There's your first Brewmaster split of the game, and don't see Ice 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 getting out of here. That watermelon, nowhere to go. He's chopped up. They have Cyclone, but they're all backing away. They're underneath the tier two tower. So one for one trade. They do force at the split. So cooldown for one. Doesn't look like they get to take a tower off of this, though. So good news for Vici in that sense. And Black's still farming, I think. He's he's down in his own jungle. He's giving FY the lane. And obviously, like if you, this is big because you have somebody that could just farm in the jungle. You might as well just give FY the lane here. Make sure you get as much golden experience as possible. Get a 12-6, get your macro power going. Level up your um, liquid fire. Macro power at 6? Or whatever it is that you skill up. I think you have more ice path. Maybe, though. We'll see. Meanwhile, Fogs has a bloody nose. He's got issues. Rip. Tornado mid lane going on to S4. S4 pops the magic wand. Not going to be sufficient. He ends up dropping at the same time right. Ice 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 happily standing his ground top lane. And this Brewmaster is dying an awful lot. I don't think I've seen S4 have this bad of a start on the hero in a long time. And they're going to keep going on Simba. He just runs directly into the Invoker Venge. He gets taken down and simultaneously the Tide with a Ravage kills off the Midas Slark. Uh -oh. What a train wreck of a landing stage for Secret. Train wreck indeed. Train wreck versus Venge Terrorblade. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do now? What do you do? What's your game plan? Uh, you need to secure a Blink on Panda, but that seems like that's a while away. He's died, what, three times, I think? Maybe. Yeah, no, maybe four. Yeah, three. Yeah, so that's ridiculous, man. Like, 500 gold, he's sitting at a bottle and just boots of speed here. He's, like, at eight minutes, you... Yeah, usually at about, like, nine and a half minutes, you, everyone's like, okay, guys, careful, Panda yeah, yeah, yeah. Blink. Not this game. No. <laughs> I think Orchid... I think uh, Invoker's gonna get his Orchid by about the same time Panda gets Blink. Which is <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, it's just like... A, it sounds like a ridiculous statement, yeah, no, but in this case, it, it's probably true. It's trouble, and then Slark has to really worry, because Invoker can easily solo kill Slark with Orchid. Yeah, it's going to create problems for the Slark, it'll create problems even for the, the Dazzle, not being able to get off his Grave in fights, could be a, a Tide Turner. And meanwhile, what's our item progression looking like on Vici? So they've done a good job at slowing Secret down early, and uh, I believe our Tide Hunter has got at least like 600 gold or so banked up right now. Oh, 500, 400, there you go. So yes. Arcane's up on his way to a Blink. And do they have any agent stacks for Vici? I imagine they probably do. Yeah. Well, only a single stack. But did they take? Did they add a stack earlier and they took it, or did they no? Just... I think they've only stacked it once. Okay. I still want to get up that that stack. That that could be huge for them, especially if they continue to stack it up. And that blink dagger is going to come out soon. Is that blink going to come out before S4 gets his blink? Is the question. And if they kill S4 again, it could be close, honestly. But yeah, you know, I'd really like if um, Vici did the like the C9 thing with Veg Terrorblade and just went and did Roshan right now. Just smoke right in and yeah, just go yeah, for yeah. it. So how do you make that work? You, do you just want to like tell yeah. someone to play aggressive and stupid elsewhere just to distract them? Or? EMP, Tornado's oh, gonna go. Cold Snap, Magic Missile, they, they just kill him so fast. He just dies so easily, swap back. No Tail's gonna fall as well, the right click coming in. That's two easy kills on a tier one tower. And they're getting terrorbladed currently. Bench, terrorblade, second phase. <laughs> God. EG and C9, we, we, would, we dream about stuff like that. <laughs> that sounds so miserable to play against. It's an easy tier one tower going their way. All well, the pressure mounts. Gold experience tipping their way. And is it fair to say that they've got the late game as well? With they the Terrorblade Venge? Absolutely. Okay. Well, this is trouble now. Not a ton of deep push on secrets well, aside from those wards. <laughs> Mod, how do you... How do you Mod, just, you're so good. I know, man. What is that, Mod Facts or something? What Mod, notes. Mod Notes. Mod Notes, yeah. Wow, how dare you. I mean, come on, dude, give me a break. I mean, if you guys need a consultant, you know, I know where's hourly rate. 
<laughs> Here we go, Vici Gaming. Working on that bottom tower. A little liquid fire action. We're going to rotate in some additional reinforcements. Super joining the fray. While Black just tucks away into the jungle again. Yasha ready if he wants to buy it. And well on his way to that Manta style. Yep, he's going to get his 20 minute Manta Scotty. Then they're going to walk down lanes. Panda's going to split. All the pandas are going to die instantly. And then you just kind of hope there's a nice Doom. This is a black stream game, man. This is what he lives for. Doom Sonic doesn't even have his Midas yet, so... Well, oh, he man. lives for anti-mage games, but Terrorblade is an acceptable replacement. <laughs> I mean, he'll, he'll deal with it, especially in this circumstance. You do what you gotta... Actually, what he really wants is Pudge. Black loves playing Pudge. I don't think that would fit here, unfortunately. God, that would be awesome, though. Maybe for the finals. Yeah. <laughs> Just bust it out. I guarantee you nobody's expecting that, so... You'll definitely have the element of surprise, though. Whether Pocket that's strats. enough. Yeah. Saving yeah. Him, well, I'll probably save it for TI5, huh? <laughs> Someday. It seems like it's a little early for that, but... Uh, I'm sure there won't be another patch. Kuroki is farming pretty well, though. He has 83 CS. He's got the Midas as well, so... Uh, if there's one thing besides the Doom, maybe it's Kuroki with a Blink Dagger getting involved in picking off some of these squishier heroes, but the doesn't seem like there's too many. smoke here from Puppy. Wants to get that... Well, not not a very deep ward. All right, that's, that's not going full fluff. He's got three of them. He wants to put at least one down. Double oh. bounce, look at that. Easy gold. Not He's like level 90 already. The dream. <laughs> wow, puppy. Smoke gank. Do they have the orchid Goes yet? Forward. Super I don't on the think move? so. That uh, smoke broke. Oh, They're not the jungle. About to engage here in the dire jungle. They'll get a little initiation onto Simba. EMP comes out. Quick kill. Looking for more. Right, they try to turn this. The brute, oh, and it gets cancelled. He can't get it off. Oh, what a disaster. Ravage comes through. Doesn't really do a whole heck of a lot, but they end up getting the kill anyway there. Three down. It's going to be potentially four. No TP available. They will lose Big Daddy. It's going to be a team wipe. Five heroes dead. Is this game just over? Did G this game just GG. Is, I think it's over, man. I don't know what just happened, but that was probably the worst thing possible. At least Poppy, or rather Simba got his Midas off. It came to him, and that's like, that's one good thing, but wow. They, they, they scratched. They clawed. They just worked their way back into this game five with nail-bitingly intense games, and then for this to happen... It's hard not to be tilted at this point if you're secret. I mean, I, well, I think our game five we were down like 30k, right? We almost won. <laughs> yeah, you never know, man. I mean, it's only it's only like 6k right now. It says they can't come back. Yeah, it's more. It's definitely more of a momentum issue. They're actually not that far behind, considering sure. that they're down 13 to two. I mean, they're pretty far behind, but I mean, they're considerably far behind. He, he has his ultimate right now. He's gonna have his Manta Sal and a couple hundred of gold. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Health Scotty before 20 minutes, probably. That's actually just ridiculous. They're gonna smoke now, and they're gonna try to find something with this. This will not go that well. They might get one kill. There them. is no Ravage, though. They do have everything else. I mean, I think you know, all of them spells. They, when they take this fight, there's an, um... They're, they're, they, don't have any to like, they don't have any towers down yet, so Vici can deport in from everywhere, and they just have this big, uh, big team fight, and... They're prob they might get a kill or two with Doom, but... They might get Jakiro. FY is actually oh, alone here. Good. He's gonna get jumped on. There's the Gale. They will Doom him. Oh, they commit a Doom as well just to take down the Jakiro. It's an expensive kill. And it's just one kill, and that, they might even lose Puppy here if they're not careful. EMP, Meanwhile, cold the, snap. Yeah, oh he's my gonna god. gonna get caught out. The Grave is there, but to what avail? Eventually he'll be run down. The Tornado jams it in. Plops him back down to Earth, and it's a one for one after a big smoke and a Doom commitment from Secret with Ravage on cooldown. And Terrorblade, by the way, just free farming happily away. Super's got a nice Quaswex Invoker. What makes it nice? Just great spell usage. Yeah, just good good placement of the EMPs and the Tornadoes. Just everything. Solid play. Are you a Super fanboy? Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you say something nice about somebody just once? I did, I said his Invoker was phenomenal. I'm just saying I'm not I'm not anybody's fanboy, and especially after he beats me at TI4, I'm definitely not going to be his fanboy. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Freaking fair enough. punk. The salt. So as I said, has his blink dagger now. The orchid I think is done as well. So Vici Gaming really all they need to do is just secure the farm like you were talking about. Get the Scotty, get the, t the man style for the Terra Blade, and just take down towers. And I don't know if there's any way that they can fight if Secret can fight into Vici Gaming right now, especially with Blink Ravage. Well, what can they do though? They don't really split push that fast. They don't have like a, a ticking time bomb late game hero. Slark no. Doom can be quite good late, but. You're up against the Terra Blade Venge, Invoker backing up the double Ravage available eventually. You have two Midas's. So, that's true. I'm sure you catch up and farm eventually, as long as you keep CSing. You can also get pickoffs too, but it's kind of hard, and they're going to find Kuroki. 
Orchid. He's just getting a right click. There's the split coming in. Gets cancelled. The Ravage is gonna go. They're gonna be able to bring him down maybe before it gets it off. Tornado coming in as well. And he will get it off finally, but they do pick up Kuroki first and foremost, an important target. And this is a defensive split. They're not going to try to fight this offensively, I don't think. They're just zoning them out. Cyclone up here, maybe they will go. Oh, but yeah, meanwhile, Black up. comes in, blows up Poppy. They're looking for more. They're on the chase. The Earth Panda's like, get me the hell out of here, please, anything. Poison of a goes and hits on a couple on the backside. You look at S4, he's done. He came back from the split. Dead as hell. Oh, and the courier does go down. 4,100 net worth. It was carrying everything. I uh, believe that was Vici Gaming's courier. Yes. So some small consolation for Secret. Maybe this is three minutes before they try and break the base. But we're talking about maybe breaking the base at 16 minutes. They're up 18 to 3. They could go base now. Mm, so what What is, would we have? The blink for the, the Tide Hunter. What else is on that courier that went down? I think the Mantis style, or does he have it already? I think he, he already has a medallion, it. maybe? Oh, Mac, I had a completed yeah, Mac. Oh my. I saw a chain. And Simba's dead. Orchid again Where coming in. From? TP'd in, two hours, and oh Orchid? god. Wait, did he get Ghostwalk all the way down there? Yeah. I don't know, maybe. I guess, yeah, Ghostwalk with the... With that Orchid, looking oh, for pickoffs. Super just stepping it up in game five. No, Kuroki get him. Blink Dagger, he doesn't Side get it all. God. Let's go. <laughs> He's really committed to this, but out uh, casual tornado, and now time to turn this one. Oh, oh, oh he orchids the illusion. That's right, actually. Well, I think you. I, I think you him? jinxed him. Oh, the Yules oh, though is gonna come in the ice path as well. He's dead. So he got all that gold killing super, but then he just dies anyways, which I guess isn't that big of a deal considering how the game is going. But I guess at, at this point, getting a trade like that is it's still good for you overall. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it is your Slark, which yeah, okay. in theory think, should be a hard carry. Worker probably hit street gold too. That's true. Yeah, still sitting at level 13. Yeah, unstoppable streak, so... Poppy getting destroyed Five. top lane. Double damage, Terrorblade just pounding into him. We'll go for the TP out. No way to cancel that. That's without Metamorphosis, yeah. and he just... Thank God Ice him. Frog nerfs under, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't seem to have really stopped the Terrorblade, but nah. the range is better now. It's so. actually a buff. Yeah, the range is really good. The hero is actually manageable before. Now he's not manageable. You, get, you can get, like, Sunder from, like... 600 it feels yeah, it feels a lot longer than the actual stated range. I'm, uh, yeah. Just one of those like you well, just get just, off if you cast it, it and yeah. they keep walking and like a fiend scoop kind of thing. And everyone's like, oh guys, get a sunder, run, 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 and then you cast it and then it looks like it's like 700 range <laughs> and terrorblade's full health. Your carry is instantly dead. You're like, oh, cool God. spell, guys. <laughs> well, they're gonna try and make a move here onto Fy. There's a Yule Scepter. Kuroki just. Kind of gets cold feet, he'll back himself out. And this is how you have to play. When you're this far behind, you don't know who's behind FY in that bottom lane. You don't know what's happening, essentially. So you, you kind of force to play defensively Shadow Dance early on, so... They do have some wards here. They have they have eyes on black, but they, they can't really do anything about it. I'm surprised that Roche hasn't been taking it. Oh no, do they thing. have a gem? They, they catch out Kuroki here Please with the bench. Magic Missile. He's in a lot of trouble. Ends up falling, the Orchid preventing any retreat. Another death for the Slark. Kuroki... He had, he's had some real struggle games in this best of five, and this looks to be another one of them. Well, can they go, mid, can they go rush? Doom, Ice Ice Ice, they catch him out of position. Drunken Haze is going to slow him down. They, they've split as well, and Ice 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 isn't dead yet. Boulder Toss, Tornado EMP, No Tail, Magic Missile. He might fall on the backside. Ice 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 will go down. It looks like he won't get denied. Puppy's going to die. Two dead already. One of them is, in fact, Kuroki, though. Super gets caught out as well. Level Death goes the right click. He might fall, and well, three down. Three for two trade thus far. There's the Metamorphosis. Simba, two right clicks. He's done. Black just goes to work again. Look at that monster of a hero. How well, terrifying. Fine. Scotty basically done here. You've got your ultimate orb, just need the point booster and that orb of venom if he doesn't already have it. And what do you know? Roshan, it's there. Why not? Oh, free Roche for Vici Gaming. Wave of Terror, Roche, Metamorphosis. That's dead in like five yeah, seconds. Fender's having a game. Like he, he's having such a good game. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do phase boots on Venge this game. Every single roam has worked for them. I, 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 I yeah. just gets kills everywhere. They really set the pace with those early ganks on S4. Like, they just dominated the game. I mean, the gank was great, but then, like, the solo kill right after, like, I, or I think it was solo. Maybe we said that maybe the bench helped out, but yeah. Yeah. they need, like, an uphill ward or something, something to help the panda. I mean, I guess the uh, Tornado EMP is, like, one really good way of dealing with panda in their other game. I was praising S4's Brewmaster, but he didn't really get much help here. And this is not a, this is not a typical S4 Brewmaster game. Well, typically Brewmaster's supposed to be pretty self-sustainable. Like, you can just sit mid, bottle crow, and spam yeah. waves out with clap, but if somebody's actually ganking him, and, like, um... If he doesn't have mana to actually clap, because like 
the reason why Panda is so hard to gank is first of all he has evasion, and second of all, the clap like reduces your attack speed by so much when you're trying to gank him. So it's like really hard to finish him off. And if he doesn't have mana to cast any spells, like you can just kind of right click him down. The other thing is that Vici have a lot of nuke damage in the laning yeah, stage, yeah. whereas some lineups, which are maybe a little more auto attack based, they, they struggle. But yeah, you got liquid fire, the Venge stun. Yeah, Venge actually, I think at level three he went two and stun or something. So he but was uh, looking for more magic damage early on. To but just basically deal with that brutemaster, I think. Well, consider him dealt with. Six point five k net worth. The enemy off lane tide has higher net worth. Yeah, once point. you get once you get this far down and Venge and TV are so farmed, like the pandas die so quickly. So I mean, the heroes. Almost useless if you can get to this point of the game. So, I mean, I guess we'll see him go into this Vlad's AC build, but it's going to be playing catch up in an arms race. That's how it feels. Vici Gaming looking to close out Secret and win a chance to take on Cloud9 in the best of five grand finals. Will the, the second play streak continue? I don't know. Six seconds before Metamorphosis here, and they're going to go high ground. This is their time to go. They have Aegis, they have Scotty. We talked about him getting it at 20 minutes, he got it at 2045. By the way, Terror God in the base. He's in your house looking to bring down Secret and finish them off here from a chance at first place at the summit, too. In comes the Blake, the initiation, but they silence as four. Quick Orchid prevents a split. Might just spell Doom. They will buy back on him, but that puts him even farther behind. They get nothing done for that. Now from the backside of Doom will come out onto the Jakiro, though, not onto Black, who just Calmly pounds away onto Simba. They do Bruce Blade. Black trying to find a center target. He gets it off. Oh, no. Goodness gracious. And then, oh, by the way, they stole a Bruce Blade. Nope. It's just that easy. They're going to keep going. Cycle and up in the air, though. And now Fenrir has to back away. Split's still going. Kuroki's back in the fight here. He's going to get right clicked out. Two, three, four. And he's done. Triple kill godlike spree for Black. And he's just going to go to work on these towers. Kuroki is forced to buy back now. Simba has already bought back. And his doom has now been expended. Black still has the Aegis, for God's sakes. He can't even bring this guy down once, let alone It's just twice. funny when you see the Bruce split and like all the Brulings are just running around, but nobody's dying or even taking damage. Tide's just anchor smashing them. I've I've rarely seen a Bruce. It just can't get anything done. And and that was a quadruple buyback as well. Oh my gosh. And a dieback on the Veno. That could have been a lot worse, I suppose. They lost the tier I don't three tower. I mean <laughs> how much worse can that possibly go? You lose your racks and then you lose the game, I suppose, but like that they're he's pretty like, much it's all but that at this point. It's like three buyback or three buybacks. It was yeah. four. Yeah. Four yeah they'll I Yeah, mean. it showed the four icons. Or Dota's drunk. I mean that's the other possibility. Woo! Well, Ma, this is painful. Ma with the easy prediction. Hey, man. Vici Gaming. They they look solid in that first game, and I don't know, the, the drafts were kind of silly the past couple of games, especially that Phoenix pick, which we were talking about. Wasn't oh, too sure about lane, it. They're going to jump in on the Dazzle right now, looking to finish off Puppy. Easy kill for Super. At the same time, a Tornado. Clips. Slark on the six. And catches Simba. Oh, yeah, man. They're just going to slowly try to run him down. Yeah, that Slark looking for a way into the fight. Can't find it. And then in the end, they'll just surround the Doom, wrangle him into submission, and another kill. It's Got Invoker it, just daddy. running around killing everyone. This will be another solo kill, possibly. Needs a little bit of help. They're going to get it. Swap in for the stun. Good teamwork here from VG. Uh, connect again. Earn will finish the job. Uh, and just die. It's, it's just time to go to high it. ground now. They're they quadruple gonna... bump back. They can't buy back again on two of these heroes. It's a set of racks, if not, you know, more. Actually, Nenny, the Veno doesn't have money. Rip. Oh, Poor Veno. This is how it ends for Secret, it looks yeah. like. Man, what a deflating game five for them, but yeah. just dominant display from Vici. Sometimes that's just how it goes. I mean, you have this epic series, you go game five, and then one team just annihilates the other one. Like, it's kind of unfortunate that. I mean, EGC9 game, like, even though we lost, that game was insane. Yes, so I think several people had heart attacks watching that game. DMP again, Ravage as well. No Brewmaster split, doesn't have the mana for it anyway, even though they grave him. Got it. Yep, there you go, just gets it off, but does it matter? They've already lost one, ready to play for Axe Fenrir. Focus, not finished, though, he'll earn himself. They change focus again in this fight, still haven't gotten a single kill. And then, finally, the Slark looks to make his way in, but to what avail? They might even kill the Brewmaster during split. His Earth Panda surrounded, and, well, you're not going anywhere. S4 down with you as well. Vici Gaming beyond godlike for Black. He is looking dominant, looking to repeat their success from ESO1 New York, where they came, they saw, and they conquered in a big Western tournament. And they're looking to do the same here in the Summit. They'll have a date with Cloud9 in the Grand Finals. That will be tomorrow.
Well, on the other side, Secret, drop down, they will face you guys in the third place decider match tomorrow. That's rough, man. I know, I know Secret really wanted to win this tournament. They gotta be really disappointed. Oh, man. I, mean, I think everyone really wanted to win this tournament, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, see, they're so happy. Like, I mean, well deserved. They played really well, and Secret, they just had nothing to do with Terrorblade pick. Like, they had no illusion clear at all. They had, what do they have? Panda Clap and Slark um, Death Pack, I guess.